Hi, I'm going to um, talk about the segmentation characteristics of deep low-frequency tremors in Shikoku, Japan, using machine learning approaches. I'm Kate from National Taiwan Normal University. This work is mainly done by my student, Hao Yu, uh, with the help uh, from our collaborator, Obrasan. The tremors in Shikoku, Japan, exhibit remarkable diversity in their slow sleep phenomena. To Western Shikoku, you have larger number, long-lasting tremors uh, with higher radiated energy and a weak uh, tidal modulation. Also, the presence of long-term slow sleep band plus longer recurrence interval of short-term slow sleep band. And based on tremor activity concentration in space, about at, um, in 2010, classified um, the tremors in Shikoku into three areas as Western, Central, and Eastern Shikoku. Considering the lateral variations of mean energy, number, and durations of tremors, Kano et al. in 2018 further divided um, the Western and the Central area um, by Obar uh, into three uh, segments. And in total, you have four segments are uh, shown here uh, from A to D. And that said, uh, there must be a strong uh, regional difference in mechanical properties responsible for different characters of tremor. So now the question is uh, how much uh, the tremor signal itself tells us the regional difference? And to answer uh, the questions, uh, we uh, conducted uh, signal classification experiments in Shikoku using tremor catalog uh, published by Onara et al. Uh, in 2016 um, and used high net waveforms data. And here the tremor, uh, tremor waveforms are segregated into 60 second segments for one event as shown by the uh, figure on your um, left-hand side. As the tremors in the four areas are treated um, as different classes, we use the simple supervised classifier uh, called KNN that tell you uh, which class an unknown sample, the, as shown by the star here, belongs to based on the distance to the nearest neighbors and the tremor space. As an example show here, the unknown sample, the star, should be classified into uh, class blue because two out of three uh, nearest neighbors belong to blue. And the classification performance is obtained using leaf one out class validation and the efficient features were selected using visual score and the source effect is obtained using a triangle test designed by this study, which we'll introduce briefly later. And for each area, uh, we selected three high net stations to collect the tremor uh, training data, which is about 70% of the total, uh, while the rest, 30%, uh, are used for testing. And using the pre-prepared event waveforms, we computed 29 features for each event. They are chosen based on the seismic uh, signatures uh, commonly used for event classification between earthquake noise, tremor, and rockfall events. The 29 seismic features are computed in time, uh, frequency, and time frequency domains are uh, listed in three different color boxes here. Uh, we design a triangle test aiming at determining uh, which features can better represent the difference in source properties of tremor. And uh, for each test, uh, we consider a feature score, which is computed uh, by the ratios of inter-class scatter and intra-class scatter in feature dimensions uh, to uh, Mm, define the efficient features. The efficient features um, is determined when uh, the feature score is higher than 0 0.2 here. To discriminate the tremors from area A and area B in this diagram, 
uh, the efficient features are determined as uh, number 24, 25, and 13. And uh, to discriminate the signals of tremors recorded at station A from station B, the efficient features are uh, determined as na uh, number 24. And so by comparing the differences in um, the same features, uh, we know that given the difference of features is mainly contributed by the source effect, we are able to single out the features that are uh, likely to represent the difference in the source uh, property. And uh, similarly, we can uh, work on other uh, pairs of uh, uh, signals. This is called triangle test, uh, which uh, allows us to generate a list of features uh, that may contribute to the source differences uh, between different areas. And using the feature histograms, uh, we found uh, that feature um, 10, feature 11, and 25 stand out, which uh, shows the biggest difference between um, the four areas. So now, the question is, what can these three features tell us? Feature um, 25, uh, it represents the numbers of peaks in the temporal evolution um, of the discrete Fourier transform medium values. Um, we interpret um, the larger numbers of peaks um, as higher variation in frequency content in a tremor signals and likely indicating greater heterogeneity due to um, the diverse strengths and or size of the earth's ability as shown by the two models here. Area A and D are with a smaller uh, feature value uh, that may indicate their weaker heterogeneity. The features uh, number 9, 10, and 11 are all associated with autocorrelation function. Uh, given that the decay rate uh, of the autocorrelation uh, function is uh, in a, a good agreement with attenuation structure, low attenuation, um, a lot more high frequency spikes, and therefore faster decay uh, of autocorrelation function. And what we see from the feature histograms here on your right hand side, um, areas A and B are more alike, whereas areas C and D are more alike. Um, areas C and D are smaller uh, feature number 10 and therefore uh, faster decay, low attenuation. However, this interpretation is not consistent with the attenuation structure proposed by Kira and Mazubara in 2016, which shows that area A and C coinciding with low attenuation, whereas B and D coinciding with high attenuation. To reconcile the two models, we argue that the size of tremor zone may play a role. Comparing area a and B to have similar autocorrelation performance, the source in area B needs to be able to generate larger amplitude, long duration tremors. So either the tremors in area B is strong in strength of asperities or bigger in the size of tremor zone. And similarly, to have similar uh, autocorrelation function decay rate, uh, the size of tremor zone in D should be bigger than area C. And that leads to this table, which we uh, summarized the previously uh, published segmentation characteristics and the lesson learned from the three seismic features uh, by this study. We interpret the seismic features extracted from machine learning approach to be associated with the different uh, heterogeneities of asperities and the size of tremor zone. And finally, we come up with this uh, conceptual model, which I will stop here and welcome for your uh, comments and uh, questions. Thank you.